you're this perp back with another video and i just got done watching barbarian i was able to watch this like an early screening you'll be able to watch this like on a thursday or this weekend um this is a brand new horror movie and shout outs to just horror in general bro we're just getting blessed with all different types of horror um with this month september and next month with october october is packed but man I'm not going to spoil anything about this movie because I honestly don't know how to feel about this movie. This was one of the most bizarre endings that I've probably seen in a long time. But let me start with the beginning, how this movie kind of starts off like what you see in the trailer is not what you expect. You know, they hide a lot of different things in that trailer that they don't show you. You get introduced to this character named Tess, and she pretty much shows up to this house. Uh, she has to stay there as like an Airbnb kind of situation. But then Bill Skarsgård's character, um, his name was Keith. He's also booked there as well. And you're thinking, like, what's going on? Is Keith kind of... A weirdo is he kind of behind this but what really ends up being interesting here is just what ends up happening in the basement everything kind of goes back to the basement and just it just being this large just kind of maze almost and the way they built suspense in this movie is really dope i really like how they just take their time it's not like your traditional type of horror movie i thought it was going to kind of end up being something like that i didn't know really what to expect with this movie because when you watch the trailer it's very vague i would say what's shown in the trailer is very vague to what's really going on and man I, I think the performances was really well done and i also like just the way that certain parts of this movie was shot you know there's different kind of storylines going on throughout this whole entire movie and you kind of see how they all connect by the end and how it ends is just kind of bizarre there, there's times that it's going to kind of make you kind of laugh because it's it, it's almost silly at times it feels silly but at the same time it's it's fascinating and i think this is the type of movie that makes you feel dread or you know suspense like i said it really does a good job of building suspense the way the camera pans really slowly sometimes fast and sometimes it kind of you see this kind of pov type shot it's really unique the way it, it, it's handled but as far as the story goes, um, and where this is set, it, set in is like Detroit. It, it, it is like these really run down houses, but then there's this like really nice house just right in the middle of it. Because it's interesting that throughout the trailer, you don't see exactly what the neighborhood looks like until you see uh, the next day, what it looks like during the day. And it's really crazy. It's just like, why would you want to stay there? My, my only issue with this movie is probably the main lead, Tess. I feel like she's way too nice. She's way too friendly because there's so many instances in this movie where I'm like, yo, this movie would have been done sooner than later because I wouldn't be caught dead in that house, bro. That house is really weird. And I'm curious to see if they kind of go in an anthology route with this maybe they do a sequel with different people or something like that the ending is very abrupt I, I keep going back to that ending it just feels very abrupt and I, I i feel like this is the type of movie you have to watch twice even though they kind of lay out and just really explain it pretty simple but you don't really pick up on it and i'm curious to see what happens uh, with this if this was just going to be a one-off which i'm cool with i think justin long also was really dope in this he really showed off his acting skills where he was kind of like he was introduced as this kind of movie producer i guess 
and obviously he um has some sexual allegations against him and things kind of go left for him and he ends up at this house and it's just really fascinating how all these different stories interconnect and just how really i was kind of on the edge of my seat watching this this was really dope and also seeing that it was a full theater so i think if nothing else is playing this weekend this will do really well in the box office i i think it will hit number one maybe you know what i'm saying it should do well it, it seems like one of those movies that some pe uh, people are looking forward to i'm surprised at how many people showed up but we'll see i'm definitely going to, going to try to see this a second time because i definitely had fun watching this this was definitely an entertaining watch i just i'm just so baffled by the ending if you've seen this movie let me know your thoughts in the comments below did you enjoy it did you thought did you were were you kind of underwhelmed or just let me know how you feel about it till next time i'll see y'all in the next video peace